Trey Young is in the NBA. He will be connected to Luka Doncic. And that night, back in 2018, during the draft, those two guys swap teams. That gives them the lead. Well, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now, here's Okongwu. Young. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. In that 2018 draft, Brent, the Doncic-Young swap was a huge deal. Yeah, so the two will be compared, and I think that's been a great deal for each team. You've seen the growth, you've seen them in the playoff, you've seen the kind of excitement level that they brought to the fans. And both have been all-stars. So Luka and Trey, both spectacular offensive players, and they both are carrying the load. Here's Young. Marvin Bagley picking up that last basket. Collins wide open, he fires target with his three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. And a different look here for the Pistons. During, he's checked in for Stewart. Noel comes in for Bagley. Alec Burks checked in for Sadiq Bey. And Diallo subbed in for Ivy. Then for the Hawks, Kaminsky is checked in for Collins. Bogdanovich comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And Aaron Holiday is subbed in for DeJounte Murray. The shot by Holiday, no good. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Detroit Pistons. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to the A game they definitely felt they could win. And with a break here or there, they probably could have. Uh, maybe should have. The score doesn't indicate just how well they competed in that game. For the majority of it, they looked like the better team. A flame to play Diallo. Absolutely great. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Pass to Bogdanovich to stop the run. Rebound, Detroit. Hurts on the wing. Another three for Detroit. Those are starting to add up Drill by nine, and the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the first. Holiday, the pass to commit. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Bogdanovich with it. From deep three-point range. An absolute bomb from three-point range. The range for Bogdanovich continues. Second quarter. Pistons leading by four. And this offensive system, Brent, that the Hawks run, it allows for a lot of creativity. Yeah, lots of dribble handoffs at the top of the key. You obviously have the, in case of emergency, great glass player in Trey Young. But uh, they're not afraid to attack mismatches, and this is the type of offenses that I think a lot of players would enjoy playing. And so in the game for the Hawks, Murray is the shooting guard, Hunter the small forward. Collins and Capella man the post position. 
and it's Young in at the one spot. Stewart, a screen for MB. Offensive rebound with the second effort. Comes inside. Diallo's checked in for Ivy. And then for Atlanta, Kaminsky is checked in for Capella. Okongwu comes in for John Collins. And Aaron Holiday is subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Hunter against Bay. Okongwu picks the Hunter. Shot clock at five. Here's Young. He's off on that one. Now the Bistings take it the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Stewart with a screen on Hunter. A three from MP. There's his third field goal. And now he's made half of his six shots. And one thing you can say with MP, Gray, and if he belongs on an NBA floor, he certainly passes the eye test. And that's always how MP has been as a player. The, the raw numbers don't jump out at you. But you can see his impact on the floor. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly with the drivers. Gets the three point of the fall. And they've done a great job knocking down those long range shots here in the second. Shooting just over 40% from downtown. Isaiah Stewart. There's 57 seconds left in the first half. Holiday, the pass to Young. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Young's got four points this quarter. Ooh, that's a sly little play as Trey Young gets inside and slips past the deep. with a screen on Young. And here's MP for three. And another three for Detroit. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And out of bounds. Body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Alec Burks checked in for the Pistons. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Bogdanovich was checked in for Hunter. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. And Young kicks to Bogdanovich. Unloads from 13. Young, no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Bagley sends a screen for MP. And another three for Detroit. Players to show up in the big game. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the greatness. You know what they have it going their way. They continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, thanks very much. Now, some people call John Collins John the Baptist for how he dunks over defenders. He says, the game is slowing down for me. I'm able to see my spots. I want to continue to build on that and be looked at as a pillar, a guy that can be counted upon. Kevin, it seems, he's hungry for more. Back to you. He's a big time dunker, that's for sure, looking to reach his full potential. David, thanks. MP, good. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. Okongwu dishes to Holiday. Down low, and it's blocked, and he recovers it. Pass to Livers. Count it good. Livers has got eight. Hey, miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes it back. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Bagley, he's checked in for Detroit. Atlanta also making some changes here. Mike Kaminsky, he's checked in for Capella, and Murray subbed in for Johnson. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. 
shot to stop the run. Two free throws coming up. These whistles. The Hawks have shot three of five at the foul line. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. There's the screen. Burks the pass to Durant. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so in the game for the Hawks, the guard pair with the talented Young and Murray. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with John Collins. And it's Kaminsky in at the five, patrolling the paint. Well, Bagley is so long, you can't let him go uncovered when he's around the offensive glass. And here's Young. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Well, I love both having the fortune of playing in both cities, and I love to see a team in my hometown, but bottom line, more teams means more jobs, and that's the sentiment I think most can get behind. Back to Collins, and finish off by Collins. Got to have good court awareness, and it was on display right there from Bogdanovich. Stewart with a screen on Young. And here's MP for three, and another three for Detroit. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Here's Murray up on top. Young outside. Over MP. And the rejection by MP. And that's the battle. They haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Pistons. Great job by this team closing out, locking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. The other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes and came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. Bagley sends a screen for MP. Good! Another from three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. They need this. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. The Pistons have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Off target from three-point range. The Hawks have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one mate. Murray, the pass to come to the inside. Young finds Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. Spade pulls it in. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a little. Connects again for distance. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. Pass dive. Kicks it to MP. One thirty-seven left here in the fourth quarter. And the dunk by Stewart. I wonder, Stewart, with that wingspan, just where you can throw lops for him to still throw it down. Young dishes to Kaminsky. To the middle. And finished off by Kaminsky. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Pistons. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just 
didn't seem to let up. Well, the last several shots went down, not three after three. It just seemed to pay off for them. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game of peace. Still, two more to go in the season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for MP. He knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on this play. And they might be and again for three. And of course it falls for him. That three pushes him into the history book. Well, he is now tied for the most threes in a game. This is a night we will never forget. Aganovic, no good that time. And it's Detroit the other way. There's the pass to MP. Stewart with the screen on Young. A three from MP. Pistons keep it alive. And Stewart gets it to go. Hey, there is MP. Ah, oh, Jake, my man. Hey, you have been getting after it out there. Yeah, I've been trying. I'm, I'm just trying. doing more than trying. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, uh, I wanted to tell you that you are 100% right. Mm -hmm. Stay in your lane and leading by being yourself, man. That's, that right there gave the team a little bit of a jolt and uh, turned some fans' heads in the way. Uh, you turned one fan's head, that's for sure. I'm beginning to think you are exactly what this team needs. Wow. That's, that right there is powerful, man. <laughs> yeah, man, don't mention it. Look, I got a, a jet, but I'll be seeing you around. All right. I'll be seeing you soon, man. Right. So, how are things? I can't complain. That's good. I thought you might be anxious, confused, upset. Those sound like complaints to me. I mean, I didn't say that's how I feel. I'm just trying to guess what you think I should be feeling. I mean, obviously, I met my goals, and I'm still not starting, so... I mean, that's how normal people feel, I think. Not me, though. I'm good. <clears throat> Is this funny to you, MP? Nope, it's the farthest thing from it. Now, is this something you want to ask me instead of just staring at me? You've been doing everything right until this point. Don't start making the wrong kind of waves now. Now, I'm, I'm really trying to be as respectful as I can, Othella, but I feel like I've been giving you the truth and you haven't been giving me... You've been giving me nothing from day one. I mean, from my first day with this team, I have done everything that you've asked, and you insisted that I follow your lead, and I did it, man! I did it! I understand. I didn't pay attention to all the off-course stuff that Phil and, and, and... I understand. Look, these kind of things happen. I'm not happy about it either. I'm not starting, Sit man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. This is just the business, MP. I get that. I get the business part of it. I'm really upset at the fact that you have me sitting here feeling like I'm doing something wrong when all I'm trying to do is help the team. You got people in the front office that can't come to a mutual, de mutual decision. We're supposed to be a team, man. Right? You're right. You're right. <sighs> I'm sorry. I read the moon wrong. I appreciate your apology. It's not like me to hold grudges, but we good. We good. Just do what Freddie asked for now, all right? I'm gonna see what I can do long term. I'm good. I can do it myself. I can make connections within the community myself. Thank you, though. Very well. Seems like we're on the same page. Anything else? Be good, man. Be good. Okay. See you around. Yeah. MP. Keep your head up. Your time's coming. I promise. Welcome to the Jackson Ellis Show, baby. And today we have a special guest. The man, the myth, the fan, the actor, the legend, Jake Duval. <laughs>
Thanks for taking time away from battling mutant squids to join us, Jay. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Jay. But uh, the squids were last movie. This time I'm saving Prague from shape shifting beetles. At least that's what they seem like at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Ah, not exactly. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Sure. On a scale of one to fire everybody right now, how mad are you with the fact that we just drafted MP when Shep was right there for the taking? I mean, Shep is built for the city. We all seen what happened to him and Warren. Look, is Shep more athletic? Yes. Yes. Is Shep a dynamic player? Absolutely. He is. Was Shep the guy we should have drafted? Of course. No. Nah. Say what now? Listen. Shep is going to give you highlights. I won't deny that. But I got to tell you, Jackson, MP is the real deal. Every day, every play, this kid is locked in. He goes all out. To make up for his lack of athleticism. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But while he's compensating, he's also elevating. And I mean the entire team. They are better with MP on the court. And, uh, you know, seriously, you'd know that if you watch the games. Yo, don't we got a movie? Talk about ah, it. what are you upset because MP clapped back at you on social? Huh? You didn't think he had it in him, did you, Jay? Come on, man, admit it. You got this kid pegged all wrong. I got him pegged exactly where he belongs. Way behind Chef. And I got you pegged exactly where you belong. Off the show! No offense, actually, you know, we just have a commercial break to go through, so. None take. I still love your movies. Alright. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Come I, here. Were you looking to talk now? To me? Okay, I'm coming over right now. Sit. Uh, yes, ma'am. Where would you like me to sit? Anywhere? Let me know. Oh my gosh! No, I'm not talking to you. I'm watching my dogs. <laughs> there. You know, Ricky did mention that earlier. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> they dogs, plural. Sorry. Basset hounds and Benny and Bjorn. They're fighting again, as per usual. And then that agitates Frida. So now she went and she stole Agnes's squeaky because she's a chewer. She likes to chew. And now she's under the bed. But that's Ulf's spot. And so now Ulf's crammed cool, in there that, with Jonas. That, that sounds like a lot of dogs, but anything you got for me? Oh, yes. Uh, do you remember that little puff piece I was telling you about? I don't. It doesn't matter. So I lined something up. All right, with all right. John Luck. OK, he is perfect for this. He is nice. He's easy. He's helpful. He's just like my little baby. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, and he's going to make you look great. He's going to do it today. Once, once I give him a call, once because obviously call, it know, is only like, if he thinks it's a good like idea. I feel like you gave him a call already. Yeah, did you or did you not? I just thought, I thought you think it was a good idea. It is a good idea. Obviously. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, do you always compare us to your dogs, or is this something new, a new little hobby? Jonas is Ricky, and then Jenny's Mila. <laughs> okay. I'm Benny, and you're Bjorn. But you got a little bit of Frida in you. I take that as a compliment. Uh, Frida so would. I would, <laughs> I would like to get some more information about this, uh, meetup, and I will meet up with John. How's that sound? A true Bjorn. Yeah, you should. Oh, so weak, hard. So good. So good and so weak.